Good evening, I'm Chris Brown. Thanks for joining us tonight for Fox 31 News Weekend. We told you last night about the mayor of Dawson being shot in what police are calling an attempted armed robbery. Tonight, members of that community are coming out by the hundreds to wish him well. First on Fox tonight, a candlelight vigil was held in that community tonight with folks showing their support and praying that he makes a full recovery. Fox 31's Franklin White was there tonight and joins us now in the studio with details. Franklin, a sad day for everybody in Dawson tonight. Well, Chris, it wasn't hard to literally feel the love and support that poured out tonight for a man so beloved in the community. They came out by the dozens. He's still my man is still my Clark Kent, my male, my nephew. For a man whose life goes beyond the city of Dawson. He, he's like, he's one of us. On Saturday, friends, family, and even high school classmates united as one, lighting a candle and saying a prayer for their city's leader. Chris wasn't just shot, the entire community was shot. On Thursday, just after 10 p.m., police say the mayor of Dawson, 23-year-old Christopher Wright, was shot at his home. He's not fully stable, still going through multiple, you know, multiple surgeries. Just, he's still with us, though. He's, um, he's still holding on. How could you? How could you? I know, you know, how could you hit anything that wouldn't fight you back? How could you? You know, it just, it doesn't make any sense. How could you attempt to kill anything? And for now, the community is pressing forward, praying and supporting one another until the man that's so loved is returned back to their city, ready to lead once again. The main thing we're asking for everyone's prayer and the mayor's full recovery of this because we know that with prayer in God, anything is possible. And Chris, the family tells me Wright remains at Phoebe Hospital. Still no word if there are any suspects in the shooting. Back to you.